Welcome, bleeders, to the Weekly Bleed, where we cover all of the hard-hitting comic book news, because there is so much of that. Like, for instance, everything from Superman to WonderCon. When you look at hard-hitting news for so long, your eyes just begin to cross. If you're a Star Wars fan, you're in luck. There's going to be more Star Wars, more, as if there wasn't enough in the world. Um, so Dark Horse is going to be making an eight-issue series out of George Lucas's original concept of Star Wars. It's going to be called The Star Wars. Hmm, that's going to feature the writing of Jonathan Rinsler and the art of Mike Mayhew. Um, something interesting, a little bit different. Uh, Darth Vader is going to be a general, not a Sith, and uh, it's going to be an old Luke Skywalker general. Eh, kind of cool. So that's something to look forward to. Some exciting and sexy news for all of you who are excited about the new Superman movie. Mackenzie Gray uh, is rumored to possibly be playing Lex Luthor in Man of Steel. Uh, rumors are not confirmed. All he's been saying is simply that I can't say what I'm playing. I'm allowed to say I'm in the movie. That's it. Doctor Who fans! I'm a Doctor Who fan. Um, and I just want to let you guys know that um, David Tennant, Billy Piper, John Hurt, and Joanna Page are all confirmed to be in Doctor Who's 50th anniversary. Um, who else is going to be in it? I don't really know. I wish that I did. But what I do know is that uh, they're doing some read-throughs with Matt Smith and David Tennant currently. So, some stuff to look forward to, perhaps. Last but not least, Frank Cho might have a secret X-Men project on the way. One of our adorable little leaders might have let that slip at WonderCon, um, but uh, we're not really sure if it's true. If it is true, then details may be coming along the way next month, so uh, we'll let you know as soon as we know. <laughs> and now with the anime news with David Hensley. You like Dragon Ball Z? We will be super happy at this. Goku and his friends grossed $7.5 million of their opening weekend for Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods. The new Dragon Ball Z film, which features some sort of Anubis-like creature that just comes down and starts raining terror on all the Z warriors, which is kind of a problem because at the beginning, Master Roshi and friends tried to fight the thing, but you know, Master Roshi is a weak old man and can't do anything anymore. But yeah, it did better than most, than all other actually overseas films that weren't produced in America. Yay anime, yay Dragon Ball Z! Another fan service filled raunchy manga is getting an English adaptation by the Seven Seas publisher. Senran Kagura focuses on five high school girls who are also attending ninja school with their flashy moves and their assassin attacks and their nice big voluptuous bosom, fighting evil and living the lives of ordinary teenage girls. If you've been looking for a sci-fi, horror, steampunk, awesome, giant monster battle anime, then tune in on April 7th for Shinjeki no Kyojin. There'll be hot women, awesome technology, and government rebellion. Or maybe not, it might just be military rebellion. But regardless, the human race is at stake as they battle these awesome, giant, titanic creatures. Tune in on April 7th. And I guess that's really, that's all. That's it. That's it for this week, guys. That's it. I know, I know that you want more. But, um, you know, just enjoy all that WonderCon footage and enjoy our pictures from WonderCon because it was a fantastic event and I'm really glad that we got to share that with you. So if you didn't go, then I hope that you enjoyed all of the adorable little things that we found. Um, well, I mean, initially the uh, the story was about fatherhood, so the inspiration is sort of not even close to what it ended up being. Uh... In Scarface was where I think I found my voice for um, uh, for Chew. Uh, it's very playful, like something like Thundercats. I'm not necessarily the biggest Thundercat fan. And I keep getting invited to Thundercast conventions, and it's like, eh, I'm not really an expert, you know? I, I'm proud of the story, but beyond that, uh, I'm not the biggest Thundercats fan. Uh, 
I'm also working on an Australian webcomic called Attica. Nathaniel is a new project we're working on with uh, Terry Huddleston. It's about the uh, son of the Grim Reaper.